Good morning. Please be seated. Well, now many of you, everybody's here today, and we're glad you, you made it. You know, you may think that it's rainy and nasty outside, and uh, I, I think I have a better vision. The, uh, the, the sun is always shining at St. Petersburg College, and it... And it shines on us because we have a chance to help people change their lives. And today we celebrate your uh, accomplishments. As president, I'd like to welcome you to the 128th commencement exercises of St. Petersburg College. Yeah, 128. Today we congratulate the students and their families who have persevered to the graduation milestone. You inspire us with your determination. Today we celebrate your accomplishments. St. Petersburg College's summer class represents a diverse group of associate and baccalaureate level candidates, as well as those receiving certificates and applied technology diplomas. Among our 1,085 graduates, are 149 who are receiving more than one credential. 53 of you are, old, are between the ages of 50 and 60. And 12 of us are older than 60. Our youngest graduate today is 17, and our oldest is 72. It gets better. For every male graduate, there are two female graduates. And two of our graduates are receiving their diplomas on their birthdays. Congratulations to you all, including those awarded today, the number of degrees and certificates awarded by St. Petersburg College since its beginning in 1927 is 148,615. Now please stand as the Reverend Kathleen Walter, priest in charge at St. John's Episcopal Church in Clearwater, offers the invocation. Following the invocation, please join in the singing of our national anthem and reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. The national anthem will be led by one of our outstanding vocal music students and one of your fellow graduates, Mr. Robert Kruidhoff. Reverend Walter. Good morning, everyone. And a special good morning to Dr. Law and all the faculty and all the leaders who helped you to get to this day. I would like to add that I received my Masters of Divinity at the age of 52. So you go, everyone. It's never too old to learn. Oh, Holy One, we gather here today with abundant joy. Fill this place and fill every one of us with your presence as we celebrate a very important milestone in the lives of the students before you, their college graduation. As they stand on the edge of unknown possibilities and new opportunities, may we, family members, friends, administrators, professors and mentors truly share in their pride for all they have accomplished and share their excitement for the journey on which they are about to embark. Lord God, we gather with overwhelming gratitude. We thank you for the ability to think, reason, and question, and for the desire you have planted within us to grow in knowledge for the betterment of ourselves and the world in which we live. 
We thank you for the perseverance of all these graduates to complete the goals they set for themselves. We thank you for all who have supported them in any way and for the resources that have been provided so they were able to attain their certifications and degrees. May these graduates always remember what a great privilege it is to receive a college education. And may they remember the sacrifices of all who enabled them to reach this glorious day. I ask now that we bow our heads in prayer. Let us pray. Life-giving spirit, I ask on behalf of all here present that you bless each of these graduates. Give them the grace to make a difference for the good wherever they may find themselves in the years ahead. For those who will pursue further education, grant not only the knowledge they will need in their chosen fields, but also the wisdom to apply that knowledge to life as it really is. For those who will be going into the workforce, guide them as they seek employment, protect them from the forces of evil in the world, and gift them with compassion as they face the challenges that lie before them. For those who have accepted the call to military service, may they draw courage and strength from you, and may they serve our country and all humanity with integrity and honor. For all these graduates, may they make a significant contribution to the general welfare of our society. As they receive blessings from you, Lord God, may they be a blessing to all whose lives they personally touch. I lift these prayers in the name of the one who is creator of all and the giver of all good gifts. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh see does that star spangle banner yet way o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please be seated. The graduation ceremony is a time to honor you, the graduates as well as a time to honor those who have helped make this college the great institution it is today. First and foremost, let me introduce a member of our Board of Trustees. Mr. Devron Gibbons of St. Petersburg is a former chairman of the Board of Trustees. He is Vice President of Amscot Financial and was appointed to the board by former Governor Jeb Bush, reappointed by Governor Rick Scott. Mr. Gibbons, would you please stand?
The trustees provide leadership and guidance to the college administration and have served these graduates over the past years. In addition to all their other involvements, which you'll see noted in your program, they give many volunteer hours to the college. The day-to-day -day experiences of our students on our campuses reflect the core and leadership of an experienced leader at each site. Together, our campus provosts have crafted a program of student support that is fundamental to our students' success. I would like to ask that our campus provosts stand and be recognized. Our academic deans work hard to make sure students get a quality education while here at St. Petersburg College. We're privileged to have the deans with us here today. Would the academic deans please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Thank you. I'm extremely grateful to our vice presidents and our executive leadership team that provides ideas, concerns, and guidance to me on a daily basis. One of your fellow students, Ms. Tricia Bryant Rodriguez, is a member of the leadership team. Would the leadership team members sitting on the platform today please stand? Thanks, too, to St. Petersburg College staff members who contribute in numerous ways to the success of our students here today. Staff members who are here, and they generally handle all of the uh, hospitality duties, uh, would they please stand or otherwise signal their presence? Let us express our thanks to all of you. It's a special honor to recognize our faculty senate leaders. Please stand when I call your name. Ms. Mary Hanlon, Vice President from the Health Education Center. Dr. Kevin Morgan, the chairman of the, from the Seminole campus, and Ms. Darlene Westberg, the chairwoman from the St. Petersburg Gibbs campus. Without a doubt, those here at St. Petersburg College who play the most critical role in the lives of our students are members of the St. Petersburg College faculty. They are committed to teach, to nurture, and to guide our students on a daily basis. They contribute personally to the national standing and reputation this college enjoys. Thank you, faculty, for investing in our students, for lifting them up and taking time to help assure their success. Would faculty members please stand while we express our thanks. Now to our students. If you have been a participant in the honors program at St. Petersburg College, please stand and be recognized for your hard work. Please stand if you are a member of the Student Government Association. Now I'd like to recognize students who are members of our honorary organization, the Phi Theta Kappa. Please stand if you're a member of one of the PTK chapters. Let's recognize those with academic honors. Students graduating with associate degrees who achieve a minimum grade point average of 3.3 receive the distinction of graduation with honor. Would those students please stand? All degree-seeking students who earn a 3.5 to 3.69 grade point average receive the honor of graduating cum laude. Would that group of graduates please stand? 3.5 to 3.69. In addition, all degree-seeking students who earn a 3.7 to 3.89 GPA receive the honor of graduating magna cum laude. Would you please stand? 
And finally, degree-seeking students who earn a 3.9 GPA or above receive the honor of graduating summa cum laude. Would this distinguished group please stand? <laughs> Among our graduates are two students who have been selected by faculty and administration to address you today. Our first speaker is Mr. Ernest Gant. Mr. Gant was a student on our St. Petersburg Give campus where he's active in student organizations and attained a 3.89 GPA. Today he will receive an AA degree in business. Mr. Gant serves as the African American Latino Outreach Specialist for our downtown and midtown campuses. Mr. Gant. Good morning, fellow graduates, Dr. Law, and the Board of Trustees. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King said, the function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. A true education is what I got from SBC. I was a high school dropout, and I needed a second chance to prove to myself that I could succeed in college. I enrolled in SBC looking for that chance. After a lot of hard work, I made it, but I didn't do it alone. I had help along the way from great professors who didn't hesitate to give me that extra push and challenge me to think critically. All the professors here are great but I don't have time to name them all, but I would like to name a few. My first math class was Dr. Professor Edwin Abaquita, pre algebra class. On test day, I was worried about how I was going to perform. Professor Abaquita told me to aim for an A every time I take a test. After that test, I tried my best to aim high in everything that I do. Professor Vabor Gardner turned the impossible to possible when I learned college algebra without using a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Roberto Loreros, American government class, taught me how to embrace the debate. Dr. William Fleming's economics class gave me a margin of cost and margin of benefit formula to use when I bought that late night meal from McDonald's. Will it cost or benefit me in the long run? <laughs> Dr. Leanne Miller's class, ethics class, taught me how to think critically while learning the moral character of Plato, Aristotle, and Dr. Martin Luther King. I also learned the importance of character when I became involved in the Men Achieving Excellence Club and Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society at SBC. The Men Achievement Excellence Club at the Gills campus was the first club I joined at SBC. My experience with the Max formed the brotherhood. I was humble on how Max club members came together to help Daystar Life Center pass out turkeys and help prepare food for the less fortunate on Thanksgiving and Christmas. After, after joining the Men Achievement Excellence Club, I received an invitation to join Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. I attended a meeting to see what it was about. I was sold when the current PTK president spoke about Mentor Midtown. Mentor Midtown is a series of PTK tutoring sessions that are held three days a week for elementary to middle school kids at the Boys and Girls Club in the Midtown area. I was volunteering at Midtown, Midtown and Midtown so much, I became the coordinator. Phi Theta Kappa also taught me the power of collaboration. When I joined the Honors and Action team to do research on a current issue or new technology that will help the world. To add, I never knew nerds 
had a convention until I went to Phi Theta Kappa International Convention called Nerd Nation. Nerd Nation is, Nerd Nation brings all Phi Theta Kappa chapters around the world together under one roof to be recognized for their leadership in college and service in the community. Because of the confidence our PTK advisor, Professor Barney Kessler, had in me, I was the only coordinator invited to my first Nerd Nation in Orlando last year and in, San in San Antonio, Texas this year. Student Support Services is another organization that helped me realize that there is so much out-of-class support you can't help but to finish what you started here at SBC. In all, SBC has given me and other students the blueprint to, su to success by giving us the extra push we need to achieve our number one goal, and that is graduation. In conclusion, I want you to remember that I was a high school dropout with no plan. I could have gone the wrong way. However, the team at SBC has helped me understand what Dr. King said. The function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. I know that I have reached that goal of true education at SBC. For this reason, I am continuing my educational journey to a bachelor's degree at SBC, and I invite you to join me. As you continue your journey, know that you have the intelligence plus character to face any obstacle that comes your way. Thank you, class of 2015. If you only know how nervous he was walking in here, okay, he did a, give him another round of applause, okay. <laughs> Our second speaker is Mr. Michael Nash. Today he will receive a Bachelor of Applied Sciences degree in Technology Development and Management. Mr. Nash has served as a student assistant in the Learning Support Center Tarpon Springs campus and as a student tutor on the Clearwater campus. He previously earned an AA degree from St. Petersburg College. Mr. Nash. Good morning, fellow graduates, Dr. Law, and board members. When I was asked to give this speech, I really didn't know what I was going to say. And I wrestled with ideas over and over and over. And I was sitting in the Learning Center one day and I heard somebody ask, why are you here? And as you sit here today taking in this moment, ask yourself that. Why are you here? And many of you are going to say it's because you worked hard. And that's a true and obvious answer. But I think it's more than that. I think we're here because we felt we were bigger than what we actually were. Right? So, Have, so have you been listening to all those people telling you to be realistic? You're not good enough, you're not smart enough, can't you see? Obviously by sitting here you couldn't. Helen Keller was once asked what would be worse than being born blind. Her response was having sight but no vision. So what's your vision for what you are beyond today? Because the only way to become what you are is to stop being what you are not. So again I ask you, why are you here? You're here because you're willing to sacrifice everything that you were for everything that you wanted to become. When I came back to school a few years ago, after a long time away, I felt that the whole world was telling me I was making a mistake. I had a newborn I needed to care for, a full-time job, responsibilities of school, and then my wife got sick, I had to spend a month in the hospital. It would have been easy for me to walk away again. And I get asked all the time, how are you able to do it? How are you manage all of that and not quit? 
and I never really had an answer. I'd always just say I just did. Until recently, sometimes you find inspiration in strange places, and I found it in that question, why are you here? So when somebody asked me how I was able to manage that again, I go, it's because I put myself in a place where failure was no longer an option, where quitting was no longer an option, where I wanted to succeed as badly as I wanted to breathe. So picture yourself in a year from now, or five years from now, or 10 years from now, and ask yourself that same question. Why are you here? Thank you. Congratulations, class 2015. I'd like uh, Mr. Gander and Mr. Nash to come forward. We have a, a certificate to recognize today's accomplishments and uh, both come to gentlemen. At this time, our Senior Vice President for Instruction and Academic Programs, Dr. Ann Cooper, We'll present each group of graduates by their degree, beginning with our baccalaureate class. Our college administrators will announce the graduates when they come up on the platform. Dr. Cooper, please present the candidates for Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Applied Science, and baccalaureate certificates. Will the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Applied Science, and baccalaureate certificates please stand? President Law, the candidates standing before you have presented their credentials for the awarding of the degrees of Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Applied Science, and Baccalaureate Certificates. I hereby recommend them to you for the conferring of those degrees. By the power vested in me by the sovereign state of Florida and the Board of Trustees of St. Petersburg College, I do hereby confer upon you the degree Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Applied Science, and Baccalaureate Certificates with all the rights and privileges thereunto appertaining. Please change your tassels from right to left. Please be seated. Dr. Cooper, please present the Associate in Arts candidates. Will the candidates for the degree of Associate in Arts please stand? <laughs> President Law, the candidates standing before you have presented their credentials for the awarding of the degree of Associate in Arts. I hereby recommend them to you for the conferring of that degree. Not yet. By the power vested in me by the sovereign state of Florida and the Board of Trustees of St. Petersburg College, I do hereby confer upon you the degree Associate in Arts with all the rights and privileges thereunto appertaining. Please change your tassels from right to left. Please be seated. Dr. Cooper, please present the Associate in Science, Associate in Applied Science and Applied Technology Diploma and Certificate candidates. Will the candidates for Associate in Science and Associate in Applied Science degrees, Applied Technology Diplomas and Certificates please stand. President Law, the candidates standing before you have presented their credentials for the awarding of Associate in Science and Associate in Applied Science degrees, Applied Technology Diplomas, and Certificates. I hereby recommend them to you for the conferring of those degrees, diplomas, and certificates. By the power vested in me by the sovereign state of Florida and the Board of Trustees of St. Petersburg College, 
I do hereby confer upon you an associate in science or associate in applied science degree or award you an applied technology diploma or certificate with all the rights and privileges thereunto appertaining. Please change your tassels from right to left. Please be seated. Graduates, the marshals will now guide you row by row to help you receive your diplomas, beginning with our baccalaureate graduates. When you have received your diploma, please return to your seat and remain seated until all graduates have crossed the stage. Thank you. From the College of Business, Rebecca Corican, <laughs> Benita Kaysen, Rachel Kennedy, William Perdue, Amber Magani, from the College of Computer and Information Technology, Karen Chappelle. Terry Rockville, Shane Corcoran, Michael Nash, Leslie Raguso, Elizabeth Toon, from the College of Health Sciences, Thomas McClanahan, Sadra Bailey, Kimberly Roseman, from Science and Environmental Technology, Alexander Hansen, Michael Rees II, Christine Silverman, Caitlin Brady, Jill Bills, Kayla Reed, Gabriel Calipari, from the College of Nursing, Brittany Kelly, Amanda Dix, Shannon Stepanisic, Jessica Daigley, Brittany Lurie, Debbie Chin, Leandra Roberts, Leanne Smith, Jennifer Miller, Christina Turner, April Astaria, Sherry Mathias, Ina Levin, Pamela Stevens, Amanda Cook, Seamus Ornelas, Tisha Almendro, Almendro. Simone Cully, Carmen Maduro, Cheryl Franklin, 
Fortuna Mark. Marichu Watkins. Georgina Van Vanularis. Yukiko McGrath. Austin Timmons. Mindy Apont. Joy Alexander Smith. Rena Williams. Stacy Schoenberg. Lovett Harris. James Harder. Vanessa Belcher. Olivia Blaskovich. Cheryl Cassell. Bonnie Ward. Dorena Evans. Mara Sinjic. Fenice Jean. Robert Osborne. Suzanne Grabel. Susan Plant. Lacey Call. Karen Graham. Lisa Nardello. College of Public Policy and Legal Studies. Erica Christine Madden. Michelle Lenick. Kaylee Smith. Kathleen Smith. Rhonda Carter. Christy Wachell. Nicholas Lewis. Rebecca Hicks. Raphael Murga. College of Public Safety, Micah Taylor, Patrick Reese, Travis Connolly, Brad Cutting, Christopher Mirren, Adam Gendron, Ezekiel DePaz. School of Veterinary Technology, Sarah Dickerson, Associate in Arts, Fernanda Correa, Hutan Abdifar, Amy Marsh, Robert Abbey, Cesar Contreras Pazo. Michelle Carroll, William Jones, Ryan Richards, Amber Turner, Nicolette Smith, Roshini Jaram, Katie Wolf, Anthony Monhe. Robert Krinruth, Danny Dunu, Leah Johnson, John Allen, Whitney Philpot, Gail Edhart Mitchell, Joseph Sierra, Ashley Yearwood. Nicole Pasquale, Jordan Bagnata, Michelle Snyder, James Kruger, 
Emily Mohi. Diana Perez. Naomi Fields. Donald Stanley Jr. Sharon Cooper. Michelle Allman. LaDonna O'Brien. Paige Carroll. Kirsten Fields. Sharice Rivers. Jessica Barrera. Brendan. Ethan Karasik. Rohan Wallace. Melinda Moyish. Ashley Zaro. Jacob Brandau. Patricia Karch. Anthony Riley. Sophia Bravo. Jenny Hancock. Timothy Codley. Vanessa Ortiz. Ricardo Cunningham. Robert Mobley Jr. Kyler Lovett. Anna Marie Maza. Brianna Yedkois. Yomanda Brewer. Tobaloba Ojimomo. Michaela Evans Ford. Brandy Angelili. Adam Grafton. Corey Damon. Cassandra Clayton. Ryan Yoho. Chalisa Hansherry. Keisha Brundridge. Tara Alexander. Cindy Antunez. Stephen Baum. Kelly Bryant. Corzell Lee. Cinder McDonald. Colton Edwards. Branika Hyman Muhammad. Keith Adam. Jasmine Shamzi. Margarita Santos. Michael Derjewski. Patrick Phillips. Rebecca Briggs. Jameson Newton. Clarita Muko. Jasmine Ganey. Lashonda Searcy. Chelsea Matthew. Hayden Crawford, Jr. Takoya Bradford. Renita Allen. Sarah Lakin. Tanya Witherspoon Fenisi. Devin Gordon. Aranza Almadora. Jennifer Chance. Eleni Beckus. Marika Patterson. Samantha Witsey. 
Hayden Cupstis, Chrysanthos Coletus, Jessica Turner, Lindsay Welsh, Ernest Gant, oh. Rebecca New, Michelle Ward, Lisa Arneson, Jesse Hadley, Margolyn Fletcher, Alexis Spring, Naja Love, Sarah Blass, Darius Perona, Edwina Chambers, Rakita Hansen, Tiffany Gamillion, Anna Clark, Lloyda Cornell, James Beeman, Ashley McAchran. Thomas Zariri, Amy Kalock, Belinda Edmonds, Scarlett Bentley, Zenoba Harris, Monica Lozada, Adil Mohammed, Morgan Henson. Christopher Serafino, Catherine Finkenstaff, Virginia Hess, Jessica Hornsby, <laughs> Melissa Stork, <laughs> Federico Cruz, <laughs> James Yego. Brad Postish, Shauna Frazier, Marilyn Van Cannon, Savannah Hansen, Eric Salksgaver, Danielle Turner. Lapanon Singse, Haley Noto, Felicia McLizzy, Victoria Inouizi, <laughs> Jabar Mansour, <laughs> Tiffany Kiernan, Deborah Ostrowski, Mariah Bailey. Associates in Science, Caitlin Filankowski. Ryan Fady. Anita Brooks. Jacqueline Benedict. Judith Hernandez. Sandra Barrick. Daniel, Daniel Nichols. Michael Smith, Sr. Shannon Johnson. Amy Bro. Maggie Greeny. Peyton Morrison. Miranda Winnick. Demetra Lishore, Amber Sapp, Jacob Williams, Anthony Patrizzi, 
Krista Workman. Richard Back. Cynthia Gametti. Kylie Connors. Anastasia Damas. Michael Levine. Jeremiah Robinson. Rodolfo Grados Gavini. Anthony Valajera. Sean Walter. Stephanie Thompson. Nevin Fitzpatrick III. Charmette Galepsi. Michelle Werner. Carrie Lapka. Rachel Townsend. Nicholas Miller. Robert Light. Eduardo Linares, Jr. Jean Nomage. Stacy Hawk Cross. Elizabeth Billets. Alket Nalja. Gilbert Rollahan. Randall Trump. <laughs> Natalie Booty. <laughs> Toby Thompson. <laughs> Tobias Ebner. <laughs> Wendy Peters. <laughs> Rebecca Watkins. Leanna Stevenson, Adam Krausick, Kayla Hofstetter, Crystal Julie, Daniel Manol, Jesse Carr, Carlene Robinson, Reed Wilcox. Kathy Flowers. And certificates in applied technical diplomas, Jill DeCamp. And Molly McFarland. Ladies and gentlemen, the St. Petersburg College Class of Summer 2015.
Thank you. To those of you in the audience who are the family and friends of the graduates, I know there have been times when you felt that none of your hard work and support of these graduates was appreciated or even noticed. But here you are, and here they are, and these graduates did appreciate you, and they did notice you. The college appreciates you. Graduates, please join me in saying thanks to your family and friends. Without them, this day would not have been. And as you, the guests of these graduates, are here today, I'd like to ask those of you who are alums of St. Petersburg College, formerly St. Petersburg Junior College, to stand and be recognized. Any alums in the crowd? There you go. And I add one more thought for the guests who are here to honor the graduates. I hope you'll consider the role St. Petersburg College can have in your lives. At this college, opportunity is always beckoning to people of all ages and backgrounds. I think it's been made clear today that St. Petersburg College can keep your dreams within reach. Graduates, you've received and acquired a lot of knowledge from one of the finest faculties. Now the challenge is to apply that knowledge with wisdom and by doing so, you will more than likely experience success in your life. Lastly, I'd like to express appreciation for the music today, which has been provided by Ms. Lynette Gill and our vocalist, Mr. Robert Kruithoff. I want to thank those who, through countless hours of hard work, made this commencement possible. Graduates, thank you for choosing this college. We were privileged to serve you. With most sincere appreciation, we pay tribute to your accomplishments. And now, Vice President Williams, please come forward to conclude today's ceremony. Reverend Walter will now pronounce our benediction, which will be followed by the singing of our alma mater. The words to the alma mater are found inside the back cover of your program. Following the alma mater, please remain in your seats until all our graduates have exited the auditorium. If you and your family would like to have a photograph taken with Dr. Law, he will be available just inside the church under a blue awning immediately following the conclusion of the ceremony. Reverend Walter. Graduates, go forth into the world as strong leaders, guiding with intelligence and kindness as inspired thinkers, creatively seeking positive change as dedicated citizens, ready to work for justice and peace as active members of your communities. As you leave this place, may your hearts be filled with gratitude and may your celebrations be filled with joy. And may the blessing of our almighty God be upon each and every one here present this day. May this blessing be upon you this day and remain with you for the rest of your lives. Amen. Saint Petersburg, Saint Petersburg, to thee we sing a song. Although in foreign lands we roam, for thee will always long. Friendships made his will recall, and all our lives will loyal be. Saint Peter. 